In today's video, we're opening the first 11 Yu-Gi-Oh sets ever made. And a massive announcement that you're going to want to hear. What's up guys, we're back with another video. This is gonna be one of the most insane announcements you will ever hear when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. But before we get to that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these 11 ultra rares from the first 11 sets. We got LOB, MRD, yeah, I had to throw Horn of Heaven in there. We got MRL, we've got a Pharaoh Servant, we've got Labyrinth of Nightmare, we've got Legacy of Darkness, Pharaonic Guardian, Magician's Forest, Dark Crisis, Invasion of Chaos, and finally Ancient Sanctuary. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below what you think about this announcement and what you wanna see pulled in this video. So before we get to opening these beautiful old school packs from the first 11 sets, uh, I have something really big to announce. If you guys like seeing the first 11 sets we did a giveaway with the first 11 sets just you know makes sense with this whole thing we're actually going to be opening the first 11 sets first edition booster boxes all in one live stream yeah you heard that right first 11 sets we're talking lob through ast first edition not unlimited we're not you know none, none of that crap all first set. one live stream during the whatnot card show at 5 p.m central on Friday. That's Friday, November 17th. I want you guys to be there because this is gonna be an epic historical moment for Yu-Gi-Oh! So go ahead right now, go to the description. I will have my link to my whatnot. You can get $15 for free if you use my link. You can also bookmark the show so you don't forget because this is gonna be one of the craziest live streams, the craziest. I mean, honestly, it's never been done. It's gonna be insane. And you will have an opportunity to buy a few packs early and there will be a bunch of them available at the live stream. So you definitely wanna be there if you want to buy in and potentially pull, you know, something crazy. Genzo, Blue Eyes Tune Dragon. We're talking about hobby boxes here. Blue Eyes White Dragon out of LOB. I mean, all that stuff's gonna be available. And I'm gonna be showing you throughout this video all the boxes that we're gonna be opening as we open one of each pack. Enough of the announcement, we have some packs to kind of show you what we're gonna actually be getting into on that live stream. I'm super excited for that. Make sure you don't miss it. It's gonna be an amazing moment on whatnot. Okay, we're gonna start off with Ancient Sanctuary. I do have a pack here and I also have the booster box we will be opening first edition right here. This thing is, I mean, we're gonna be opening literally all 24 packs of all 12 or 11 boxes, not, not 12. There's not an extra one, 11 boxes. It's gonna be crazy. Ancient Sanctuary, then we have a pack. So obviously there's amazing cards in here. This is the least exciting of all 11. Still pretty decent set and much cheaper packs. So that'll make it interesting for people who wanna buy the lower end ones. Let's open a pack here. I do wanna pull Dark Magic Attack, Blue Eyes, Burst Dream of Destruction, whatever it's called. Let's get that thing. Those are my two favorites. I do love, actually Econ's up there. Econ's pretty nice, four from the back. I would love an Econ Ultra Rare. We have a Spirit Caller. Let's see what we can pull. We're gonna be opening one of each pack, except there is a little, you know, Magician's Force. We have something going on there. Legendary Jiu-Jitsu, but it'll be worth it. Beckoning Light, we have Backfire. We have the Three Hump Lakuta, Earthquake, Pharaoh Servant, already pulling the fourth set ever made. Pretty amazing. And a Death Counter Blow. That is a super rare Ancient Sanctuary. Beautiful, beautiful hollow. Wow, we got a hollow. That's actually pretty amazing already. One for one. And uh, take another look at this thing. You will have a chance to purchase some of these. Don't miss it, guys. It's going to be amazing. You guys know which one comes next. Reverse Chronological Order. Invasion of Chaos First Edition. Yeah, we just opened this at the 200k special. It was pretty amazing. But that was my box. You guys didn't have a chance to buy in. You didn't have a chance to get the Blackluster Soldier, the Chaos Emperor Dragon. You didn't have a chance to get the Democ. All that amazing stuff. Dimension Fusion could be in this box. I mean, I had a pretty good box, but I didn't get CED. Could be a CED in here. So we have this and we have a booster pack, which is even not even a 2017 reprint. I managed to get a red banner one which means it could be an original on limb i i forget i need to go back and watch my videos on the differences it's something to do with shonen jump i feel like shonen jump i feel like changes where it is on invasion of chaos but that's a first edition ioc booster box that's going to be in the same live stream those two boxes okay obviously the big three are what we want out of here oh wait this might be a euro pack we saw this little crimp right here oh this might be an en euro pack i wonder if it is if it is then maybe it's 2010 here i don't know actually how do you, I don't even know. I'm just going to do three. I don't know what it would be here. We have Burning Algae, Ojama Black, Manju of the 10,000. Used to be a great $3 card. Not anymore. Sad times. But gone, Nave. Giant Hand. We have Chaos Greed. Stealth Bird. Could be up next because I don't know about the pack trick. Thinking the creator? No. Okay. Oh, and a ultra rare insect princess and yellow luster shield. We are two for two. This is a great sign for the giant stream, guys. We are two for two, ultra rare and a super rare. Starting it off hot in this video. This is going to be so cool. I am so excited for this stream. Make sure you show up and don't forget to get that 15 free dollars, guys. Okay, continuing in reverse chronological order. We have moved from 2004 to 2003, December 2003. 
Dark Crisis First Edition. I have never opened a hobby Dark Crisis box, actually. Never. So, uh, or at least first ad. Maybe I've opened an Unlim. No, I feel like I haven't. So this will be the first time I've actually done that. I've opened a retail 36 pack box, one or even two times potentially. We did get Exodia Necros. We would love to get that again this time. This is such a cool set. I mean, I love, I mean, look at the box. It looks amazing. Wow, this is gonna be epic, guys. And we have one pack to kind of represent that. It's a red banner, so it's a little bit of an older pack. Pretty cool, definitely feels like it. Might even be an original on limb. You guys remember a long, long time ago, if you're long, long time fans of Rux and 34, which everyone says they are, but you know, the, the people who've been around a long time actually know, we pulled two Exodia Necros out of 24 original packs. It was pretty amazing. Final countdown, let's see what we can get. Arsenal Summoner, we're two for two right now. Battle Footballer. Sasuke Samurai, Shooting Star Bow Seal, Frozen Soul, Staunch Defender. Let's get an Exodia. Oh, it's Legendary Flame Lord, our first miss. Okay, I saw that and I was like, Shinado, potentially? No, we get the Flame Lord. Pretty cool looking artwork. If he was a hollow, he'd probably be pretty epic. I'm not gonna lie. So two for three, we can handle that. And if you know your old school Yu-Gi-Oh, you know what's coming up next. First edition Magician's Force. And here's where they randomly put the first ed up here. I think this is the only set they did this. Yeah, this is the only set. Dark Crisis right after that, they didn't. You can see here, there's a first ed at the bottom. And then uh, Pharaonic Guardian after, spoiler alert, uh, is down here as well. So they randomly decided to put this up here. I don't like it as much. A lot of time you look at it, you think it's unlimbed because you're looking down here. Then you realize it's stuck up there at the top right. So I actually didn't have a Magician's Force pack laying around, unfortunately, because they never reprinted it. So you got to have the OG. It's very difficult to find. So... To make up for it to you guys, uh, we'll leave that there just for a little, you guys can look at that a little more. I added an even better pack, Retro Pack 2. I did have one extra of these, and also you can see this is like turned a little bit, the way it's printed, it's kind of weird. I mean, misprint people will probably be mad at me for opening this, it's probably more valuable to keep it sealed. Uh, but I'm going to open this, because this is my, I had 25 packs, we're opening 24 in an upcoming video to celebrate. 1,000 straight uploads. So that's a little spoiler for you guys. So my extra pack, let's see if we can pull a secret rare right now. And uh, this is our Magician's Force stand-in. I know it's not one of the first 11 sets, but it's, it counts, okay? Because we're gonna be opening the first 11 packs anyway. So it's totally fine. Look how, how long that crimp was, it's pretty crazy. One, two, three, I think you can do four here. Let's just see if it works. We have emergency provisions. We could get a blue eyes uh, shining dragon, not tune. Uh, that would be pretty insane. I mean, I really want the Dark Dragon Master Knight. The dark, I can't say anything right. Not Dark Magician Girl, not Dark Master Knight. Dragon Master Knight, Skull Invitation. We're going to get it. Torrential Tribute. It's going to be amazing. Kaiku, let's do it right now. Spear, Dragon, and <laughs> Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. You're being a little obnoxious right now. You are not what we're looking for. Okay, back to the actual 11 that we have. I already said it earlier. Pharaonic Guardian. Pretty cool. First dead back down there. Seventh set in Yu-Gi-Oh! History. We're talking old school. We're talking epic, really amazing commons and rare set, like absolutely awesome for the game. Like this set was really, really good when it came to just really playable cards in the commons and rare slot. And then of course, really cool stuff like Don Zalug in the ultra rare slot. I want to pull Ring of Destruction out of that because I've never pulled that in first dead. I don't know if I've pulled it at all actually in uh, Pharaonic Guardian. So it'd be pretty amazing to get that. I This one's probably a retail pack that's unlimited, but I actually don't know that. Dice Jar, this is like a $3 card. This is what I was talking about. Very nice stuff. Let's do four from the back. Can we get Don Zalug or it'll be Lava Gold Marine Destruction Secrets. We got the Burglars, we got Narrow Pass, Molden Behemoth, D-Tribe, Ruxin Special. Oh, there's another good one. $3 card? And then this is like potentially like anywhere from seven to 10, just depending on what it is. An amazing card. So crazy value there. We got a Curse. We got the Banner of Courage. And a Book of Life, another Hollow. It's a really awesome zombie card. Banishing one from your opponent's graveyard, special summoning a zombie from your own graveyard. So really solid stuff. You bring it back Ryu Koki a lot of the time, those old zombie decks. That is pretty cool. We are now three, four, five. That's pretty amazing for old school packs. And we are down to the top six of the original 11. We have Legacy of Darkness still in 2003. I think we're mid 2003 somewhere, maybe a little bit before, maybe somewhere in like April, May, June area. Pretty amazing looking box. We've opened many of these on the channel over the years, but they never really get old because Yada, Yada will be in this one. The Injection Fairy Lilies in the retail. So two really awesome secrets. Pretty amazing box right there. I'm super pumped for this. And we of course have a booster pack to go along with it. I would love to pull a secret rare right now and just bless us for the future stream coming up. This is going to be crazy guys all of these in one stream i i'm not sure if your head has been wrapped around what's going on yet it's going to be insane one two three four so i want to see you guys there we have hunter with seven weapons it's going to be pretty amazing let's see what lod can give us puppet magic we are three for five right now it's pretty amazing skull knight number two dragon's rage ryukish and clown heart of clear water and we have a oh the air knight 
Air Knight Parshad. This was part of the giveaway. I actually gave away a really minty one, by the way. That thing was like near mint plus the one in the giveaway. So now I've just replaced it with another one. Way off centered Air Knight Parshad. That's so cool. One of the coolest ultras in LOD. I mean, it's just such an awesome card in GOAT format. What a cool looking artwork as well. Four for six. We've got did we get two ultras already? Two ultras, two supers. That's great balance. Top five incoming. We're getting to the really, really good sets. We have Labyrinth of Nightmare first at Gemini Elf Potential in here for you guys. I mean, guys, Mask of Restrict. There's some amazing, amazing. I want you guys to look, be able to look at all these booster boxes before they get opened up. Really, really awesome. I mean, wow, this is going to be an insane, insane live stream. I cannot wait. I'm going to put that back there. We have one Labyrinth of Nightmare pack. This one's looking a little different. This might be a, is this one of those weird ones or is this a euro pack i can't actually tell we're gonna open it up we're gonna find out it's opening kind of strange i feel like this is a euro or it's one of the ones from the tactical evolution either way it's gonna be fun four from the back it might have a damaged foil if it's uh from tactical evolution earl of demise this feels like it yeah this is definitely a 2007 print soul purity and light we have supply deal of phantom the unfriendly amazon swordsman of land style tornado wall we have bait doll and Another hollow, dude! Royal Command out of the slimy packs from 2007. What a weird feeling on these. And what a weird looking hollow. Let's see if there's any damage on the back. There's actually not the train tracks, which is interesting. And then look how like kind of faded the coloring is. It doesn't look as good, doesn't feel as good. The print on those suck, but it's actually really fun and unique to open those up. So that's that's pretty fun. We got three ultras. We are five out of seven. Is this real? Is this really happening? I hope that this is a sign to come for the live stream. We pull like three ultras, four ultras in some of these boxes. We got Pharaoh Servant. Obviously, you guys know. And here's where they swap. You guys can tell. Since we're looking at all the boxes, they went from the outlined in white first edition. They uh, So that was the new thing. They had just the black first edit, which is really hard to see, actually. You can easily miss it. I mean, you might not even see it's there because it kind of blends in with some of the certain boxes and the dark red. It's like, OK, it doesn't really stick out too much. It's going to have the Genzo, guys. Genzo, one of the best old school Yu-Gi-Oh cards ever made. Pharaoh Servant never gets old. It's one of the most fun sets to open. And speaking of, let's open one. Pharaoh Servant right now. I mean, we are absolutely on fire when it comes to pulls. I can't really expect anything, but at, so at some point I just keep expecting it. Uh, it's not a Ruxin video without pulling a Jinzo. Dash rhyme style. He quoted it. Solomon's law book. I'm quoting him at least. Deep Sea Warrior. We have Kisitai Little Finger. Oni Tank Rux at 34. That you don't make this up. It's just perfect. Skull Mariner. Awesome card. Cold Wave. That's an insane card. Just ridiculously good. Gamble. We have Cyber Falcon. And finally, we have another hollow, dude. Fairy Meteor Crush. This is ridiculous. We are. <laughs> well, how many, how many foils? Six out of eight? Six foils out of eight. Old school packs. Look at that centering too. Completely terrible. I love it. Fairy Meteor Crush. Six out of eight. We're definitely going to cool down on the big three, of course. Or at least the top three. I wouldn't say these are the big three because Mag Magic Ruler, it's like some people love it. Some people are like, I'd rather have MFC, IOC. Let me know in the comments. We have 11 boxes to talk about today. And speaking of Magic Ruler, guys, here it is. First Ed Magic Ruler. I've not opened a hobby Magic Ruler. It feels like in a while. I don't remember the last time we did. It's one that's not as expensive as some of the other ones because you know th there was like a few years i think it was like six years ago at this point there was a bunch of them got on the market but it's definitely recovered it's a really amazing looking box the green on it is just so cool tunes were first introduced there it's just really good and we have a original 2002 unlimited to open today so yeah i mean we're, we're kind of killing it right now in terms of pulls and i want to continue that right here one two three four i mean i can't believe how good it's been Labyrinth of Nightmare. Could we possibly pull another foot? We haven't gotten a secret yet, though. That'd be pretty cool. Liquid Beast, House of Adhesive Tape, Ryu Rance. This is a really fun video, actually. Gaia Power, Chain Energy. I mean, actually, I mean, actually, wow, the top 11 sets. So fun to open. Who would have thought? I know. Yeah, I, okay, I get it. That was stupid. <laughs> okay, Hamburger Recipe. Before you type in the comments, I get it. Final card, Karate Man. Okay, we finally missed one. Still six out of nine. Even if we miss the next two, we're six out of 11. It's over 50%. It's insane. And we got two more. My favorite set, Metal Raiders. Amazing stuff. Metal Raiders. Got Summon Skull on the side there. We got Barrel Dragon right there. That's amazing. We've got the IPC code, which is hard to see, but it is a Gate Guardian box. And then we have B Skull. I mean, this is it's impossible to top this set, I think, in my opinion. LLB, 
could argue. I think a lot of you guys will think it's LLB over this, but such an amazing set. I unfortunately didn't have an original pack, but we do have a 2017 pack, which is at this point, not the newest one. So kind of old. Let's see if we can get something. I opened one of those Walmart blisters to get this. So hopefully it will bless us with a summon skull or something. We have prevent rat. Don't prevent us from foils. Mystic lamp, gazelle, king of mythical beasts, roaring ocean snake, deep sea shark, crash clown, genzo number seven, cannon soldier, and Yadakaru. Okay, yeah, I guess you can top Metal Raider sometimes. And the final part of this amazing announcement video. Let me get these out of the way because we need to show this in all its glory. You guys know what's coming, but that doesn't make it any less exciting. A first ed Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon booster box. First edition. This is glossy, by the way. It is not wavy, but it is first edition. Pretty in say i mean look at this this is blue eyes white dragon potential right here you cannot top this i said that about metal raiders but for most people cannot top this i mean the thing is with this is like it is the first set it's like way more expensive way harder to get a hold of so it's like in that respect you can't top it metal raiders i think the actual set list is better but i mean the original blue eyes white dragon that's the card of all cards so i mean even now i'm second guessing my metal raiders i mean i just love both the sets they're amazing the first dead box when you're holding this thing if you've never held one before i mean that that should be a bucket list thing for you guys whether it's to buy one or whatever just to hold it and just see it is really really cool and that's how, kind of how our channel got started, opening one of these, and we are continuing it by opening. This will be the third one I've opened uh, in general, because I had the two on my channel, and we're going doing one on Whatnot, which will probably be on YouTube at some point, but it's going to start on the Whatnot stream, and it's going to end our amazing 11 box opening. So if you want to have a chance to get packs from this, it's going to be crazy. And we're going to end this thing off with one final pack. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. And do not forget to go bookmark that Whatnot show. It will be in the pinned comment. It will be in the description. And uh, get your $15 for free while you're at it because you can use my link there and get that. And then you can maybe use that sort of pack in one of the live stream. Uh, maybe mine. Probably this one. This big 11 one. Or maybe another one. Who knows? Armored Starfish. Let's see if we can get a Blue Eyes White Dragon just to give us some great luck. We've had great luck in this video already. Silver Bow and Arrow. And this will be the reprint packs we miss on, ironically. Tyone, if we don't get this, we have Dragon Capture Jar, and it's a Skull Servant. I do love the Skull Servant. He's pretty cool. Okay, guys, just get excited. It's coming up. It's awesome. And don't forget that this Friday at 5 p.m. Central, we are opening those 11 first edition booster boxes. It is going to be absolutely crazy, and I really hope to see you guys there. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Stage 21, CJ Liu, Gwen 62, Yu Gi Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa Jr. Barty, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.